connected to Business Wrap. Find us online at businesswrap.biz, on Twitter using handle AskBizWrap, and on Facebook, just search Business Wrap. And now, effective communication with Phil Zeller, CEO, Dale Carnegie, Southwest Michigan. Hey, let's be more effective in our communication. That's why we're here, right? Oh, man. I, I love effective communication. I love talking with people. I, actually, I've shared with you before, the number one area of lost revenue in American business is due to poor communication. The number one reason for relationships breaking up, again, due to poor communication. Communication is critical to every human being, critical to, critical to success. And with the loss that it creates, it costs more than anything in our life if we do it poorly. So our challenge right now is to become a better communicator. For a million reasons, and we could have a million reasons, each one, each person here listening, including you, could give me a reason why we need to get better at it. One of the early on in my career, I got into sales, and I realized that in sales, first when you get into sales, they're like, "Here's our product. Here you got to go sell this." So you learn everything about the product, then you go and show up and you throw up on the customer. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, you don't throw up on the customer, but you throw up with all the information that you know, all this stuff that you've studied, you want to tell them about all the bells and whistles on the product, and you're telling them about all this stuff, and you see the customer's face glazing over as they're looking at you thinking, I really don't care about all this stuff. Well, how many times does that happen in day-to-day life? How many times are you having a conversation with somebody, and you kind of see their eyes glazing over, and they're like, I really don't care, I'm not best in this, and you know what, You know, I, I, I don't care, and I'm out. And maybe you're that person who's out. Or maybe it's that person you're talking with that's out. But here's what you can do to make sure they're in. This is what you need to do as an effective communicator to make sure they're in. You need to find out why. Why? Why? Why do they think that? Why do they feel that? Why do they know that? Why do they, why do they think that's going to end up like that? And in this interesting time that we're in in the world, and there's a lot of politics, and there's a lot of difference of opinion, there's a lot of people that think a lot of things, and so what I found is that I love to learn. I don't know about you, but I love to learn. I've been going to school. Heck, I started, I think I started preschool when I was three years old or something like that. I've had 35 years of formal education in my life because I can't get enough learning. Now, some of you say, well, did you ever work? Absolutely. I worked from the time I was 12 years old. I always worked and went to school full time, worked full time all the way through my college years. So, yes, I did both. Full-time student, full-time worker. Well, I probably wasn't a full-time student, right? Add up the years. No, I wasn't a full-time student. I was close to being a full-time. Sometimes it was up to 16 credits a term. Sometimes. Not all the time. But after 35 years, several degrees later, I realized that what I need to do is I need to seek understanding. And the simplest way to do this, as Dale Carnegie shared with us, is to ask questions. Ask questions instead of giving direct orders. If we want to understand somebody and learn from them, And, get this, hold them accountable. How cool is that? What we have to do is we have to ask questions. So when I'm meeting with somebody or somebody's sharing a thought or an idea, or maybe it's a political opinion, or maybe it's an opinion on what's going on in society right now, or maybe it's an opinion on, you know, the pandemic or whatever it may be, what I do is I start asking questions. And what I found is that people will be very happy to share with you their opinion because they're the one who brought it up in the first place. So I want to learn more about it. So I ask them questions. And by seeking understanding, asking questions, well, why is that? Tell me more about that. How did you learn that? Where did that come from? What does that lead to? Who said that? What statistics do we have? Tell me about it. And you get the people talking, and before you know it, it's kind of like they say, how many licks does it get to the, take to get to the center of the Tootsie Roll? It's one, two, three, crack. Well, here's how many how many licks it takes to get to the center of communication with somebody to understand why. It's five. Five. Get it? It's actually five. It's called the five whys. You got to go five whys deep with a human being to get to the core of what truly are they trying to say? What truly is their message? So the next time you hear something and it doesn't quite make sense to you, go ahead and take the time to tell the person, well, that's really interesting. May, may I learn more from you? And they're going to say, yeah, I'll tell you all about it. Say, great. May I ask you some questions? Wonderful. And ask them Five questions deep. Go five deep with the questions on whatever they're talking about. And what it's going to do is it's going to challenge them to really have their ducks in a row in a positive way. And hopefully, if they do, you're going to learn from them. You're going to learn from their experience and what they've been able to accomplish. If not, it's going to challenge them to rethink what are they saying and why are they saying it because they haven't thought it through. So the next time you're in a conversation with somebody, you want to help them, you want to help yourself, you want to seek understanding, you want them to grow in your presence, go five wise deep. 
ask the questions instead of giving direct orders. And what you're going to do is you're going to force that person to have a greater understanding of what they're talking about, which is going to make them more a more intelligent person and more competent person in other people's presence. So you're helping them as a human being to be a better leader. So I challenge you to go out there, ask questions, seek understanding, go five wise deep, and you'll have more peace of mind and they'll grow in your presence.